Hey everyone, welcome to Project Spark Tutorials, and today I'll be teaching you about variables. This is our hero. Our hero seems to have a little bit of a problem. He's trying to get home, but he can't get through his gate. It looks like the missus here wants him to take care of a little problem before he can come back home. So let's see what that is. So she wants us to slay two enemies before we can get back into the yard. Let's see what happens. There they are. We're going to take care of these guys real quick. And then, for some reason, it still won't open. Let's take a look at why. So our goblin brain says that when he dies, it's supposed to increment the enemy's slain variable by one. And the door brain says that when the enemy's slain variable is equal to two, power on, which means to open up in this case. So how come this doesn't work? Well, each prop has a different set of variables, and they won't be able to see each other unless you specify which ones you want to use. So in this case, we're going to use a logic cube. Inside of the logic cube, we're going to rename it so we know what it is. It's always good to name it something easy to remember, so you know what you're looking at as you code later on. We're going to set the default value for the variable at the top here. Because this says once, it means it will only happen once, so you don't have to worry about this ever repeating. So now let's go back to our goblins here. Inside the brain, we're going to amend our statement by inserting a small piece of code. With this little piece of code, the goblin now knows to use the logic cube variable instead of its own set of variables. Alright, let's see if this works. Okay, so we've killed two enemies. Now we just have to go through the gate. Ow! Huh, that's strange. Let's see why it didn't work. A big part of coding is learning how to debug. So here I've created a line that when the logic cube detects the player, it will create a display that shows the enemy slain variable. Alright, so it's showing zero. That's good. Now let's go check out what happened. Oh no, that's not good at all. 75. Whoa! So sometimes things don't behave the way you want them to. So you have to change your code to fit these circumstances. You'll see I've changed it around a bit. Now when the goblin dies, it will only increment by one once. That's what we want. And just to be sure, I'm going to change the gate's brain as well. Instead of saying equal to, I'm going to say greater than or equal to, to encompass more possibilities. So far, so good. go on in and see what else you would like us to do. These basic skills will help you get started in your own levels. Leave some comments below on what you'd like to see me explain, and I'll try to help you out in the future. See you next time.